Good Sunday morning, everybody. We're going to show you a book cover. This uh, book is the, uh, the work of our first guest today. It's called Getting to I Do. It's, done, it's a best-selling book. It's a survival guide for people um, who are looking for love. And our guest is Dr. Pat Allen. Uh, you're, you are well-known amongst the, the world of love and emotion and uh, a very well-known therapist. i got to ask you. Yes. Um, Lisa no Noack. Yes. The astronaut. Right. What if she had been a client of yours? Yes. What would you have said to her? What I would have said is, don't forget, when you are a woman, you're a woman physically first. Women have to feel good to do good. Mm -hmm. And that if NASA is not teaching you about the magic formula of oxytocin, the cuddle hormone, you're going to be in trouble. Oxytocin. Oxytocin, which women give out when they're lactating, gestating, and pardon the expression, fornicating. Uh -huh. And what that does is bond them to the men that stimulate it, even if those men are married to somebody else. When you're getting close to that man, your body responds. And you may do strange things like get in a car and drive 900 miles. I would be very fascinated to find out if NASA does in fact educate their astronauts you know, uh -huh. man or woman, about the nature of closeness and oxytocin. Now, is oxytocin something like pheromones? That, it is, that, well, that, no, it's stimulating. Can we emanate? Here's what happens. Or oxytocin is oxytocin internal. Oxytocin is a neuropeptide. So it's all internal. It's internal, and here's what happens. You meet somebody, and within three minutes, you don't touch them, you don't do anything, you pick up their DNA. Uh -huh. It goes in through the nose, or actually goes through the mouth, mm -hmm. through the the palate mm -hmm. to the vasosensory organ, which is called the Jacobson's organ, which hits the pituitary, which gushes. Now, guess who gets hit by that? Uh, you're going to have to tell me. I'm telling you, it's women before menopause mm -hmm. and men after andropause. That's why that uh -huh. silly old man runs off from his wonderful wife with Miss Goldigger Hardbody. Well, uh, now are we talking about Anna Nicole Smith? Because <laughs> that's the other person we need to talk about. <laughs> yes. She uh, died this past uh, Friday. I know. Friday. I'm so sorry. And she had, it seemed like she had such a broken heart as well. I appreciate that, but she used food as a sedative. And what happens with that is when women use food or drink or drugs or sex or whatever, what they're doing is knocking out their bad feelings in order to do what they think is most logical, mm -hmm. which may be a lawsuit here or a whatever there. When men use, they knock out their thinking to do whatever they feel like doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm afraid that when you fluctuate too seriously on your weight, you've got to be very careful about particularly the potassium level mm -hmm. in your system, mm -hmm. which may be seriously... Remember Karen Carpenter? Of course. Okay. Lovely voice. Ser serum potassium deprivation. Her heart didn't work right. The, the, the beats mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. things. But here we are, we're ostensibly talking about love, and we end up talking about all these chemical things. I got news for you. Do you realize nature's where it's at? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how to answer that. Uh, the way to answer it is, you really need to know about the nature of a human being before you put them into that delicate, delicate venture of mating and marriage. It used to be churches and governments ran the show. You will do that, and you'll wear your burqa, and you won't go out, and you've yeah, got to have yeah, a chaperone. Yeah. Because people way back when knew that there were things in the human animal that needed to be known and protected, mm -hmm. either away from or towards. Mm -hmm. And that's what I specialize in. I'm a cognitive behavioral therapist. I'm not a hand holder.